In this video, we're going to find consumer surplus, producer surplus, and the deadweight loss under a monopoly. A monopoly, let's say, has an inverse demand given by 130 minus 0.5 Q. P is the price that the monopolist sells its product for. Q is the quantity produced. The monopolist has a marginal cost equation of 2Q plus 10. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is find the profit maximizing output level and price for the monopolist. Let's begin with finding the monopolist total revenue. Price times quantity. Substituting in the inverse demand function for price. Okay, so just substituting 130 minus 0.5Q in for price, multiplying it through by Q. We get a total revenue expression equal to this. Marginal revenue is the slope or derivative of the total revenue function. So taking the derivative of this equation, we just get 130 minus Q. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that marginal revenue will look like the inverse demand equation except its slope will be twice as steep. So minus 0.5, this is just minus 1Q. Let's set now marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So we get 3Q equals 120. The firm should produce 40 units of output to maximize profit, and it will set a price of plugging this 40 back into the inverse demand equation. We get price equals 130 minus 20 or $110. All right, now let's uh, try to find consumer surplus, producer surplus, and the dead weight loss for this particular firm. I find it easy, uh, easiest if you look at this graphically. So I'm going to graph the firm's demand equation. It's a linear demand equation. It has a vertical intercept of 130. Okay, so just looking back, so a vertical intercept of the demand equation is 130. Marginal cost is 2Q plus 10. So the vertical intercept for marginal cost in this problem is 10. So sketch something like that. Marginal revenue. I'm going to come down something like that. I'm technically, going to intersect halfway between the origin and where the demand curve intersects. And where the demand curve intersects, this is actually 260. Okay, we're not going to do anything with that value though, but you should be able to find how that's 260. And this is going to be half the distance, so this will be 130 here. We found this value here, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We found that value is 40. Okay, this is not drawn to scale so well, but that's all right. And then we found that plugging this 40 into the demand equation, the firm is going to charge a price of $110. Okay, so that's where the 110 is showing up. All right, let's uh, locate the areas of consumer surplus and producer surplus. Consumer surplus is this triangle right here. Just shade it in slightly. So that triangle is going to represent consumer surplus under monopoly. The difference between the height of the demand curve, what consumers are willing to pay for an item, and what they actually did pay, all the way up to the quantity sold, 40. So the dimensions of this triangle, okay, geometry says the area of a triangle is one half base times height. 130 minus 110 multiplied by 40 minus 0. 
and that will simplify down to uh, four hundred dollars twenty times forty is eight hundred and half of that is four hundred dollars so that's consumer surplus under monopoly producer surplus is going to be this big area here the difference between the price the seller or the monopolist is selling the good for and the marginal cost curve up to the quantity sold so we got this area here uh, in order to calculate this area we're going to have to divide it into two sections one area is a triangle and the other area is a rectangle so the area of this rectangle just width times length so that's going to be well we need a value here don't we we got to get a value here so to find that value the easiest thing to do is plug 40 back into well it doesn't matter marginal revenue or marginal cost so if you plug this 40 back into well marginal revenue it's right here uh, we're going to get 90 so this value is 90 we would have got the same thing if we plugged it into marginal cost marginal cost is 2q plus 10 so 2 times 40 is 80 plus 10 is 90 so now we got an important dimension and so the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be well width times length so 20 times 40 so that's 800 but that's not all of it producer surplus is also this bottom triangle the difference between uh, 90 and the marginal cost curve and we're going to need uh, one more value there that's 10 and that's just the vertical intercept of the marginal cost equation 10 so plugging that 10 in over there so producer surplus in this area is one half again base times height so just 80 times 40 so there's going to be 1600 so total producer surplus is 800 plus 1600 or 2400 okay and then last is the dead weight loss the dead weight loss is this triangle right here it's all these units in which consumers have a higher willingness to pay than it costs the monopolist to produce so this triangle region right here is the dead weight loss. Like all triangles, we're going to calculate as one half base times height, but we're missing uh, some information. We need this value right here. And again, it's not drawn very closely to scale, but this value is going to occur where price equals marginal cost. So 130 minus 0.5q equals 10 plus 2q, the marginal cost. If you were to solve for q, you'd get 48. 48. So this value here is 48. One half um, base times height. So we got 110 minus 90 is 20 multiplied by 48 minus 40 is 8 so we got eighty dollars of a dead weight loss and that is how you find consumer surplus producer surplus and the dead weight loss under monopoly